Hey folks, this is Holly Thrasher and I am an agronomist for FBN and today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the cold temperatures that we saw in the last couple of week, weeks in um, winter wheat growing areas. So as you can see from the field behind me, we do actually have a little bit of uh, freeze damage on this wheat crop. It's caused some necrosis of these leaves. However, that's not necessarily a factor that uh, that we're going to have a yield impact from this freeze. So there are a couple things I want to talk to you about today um, when assessing your freeze damage. Also, um, looking at if uh, if you do have some significant freeze damage, what are your uh, planting options and terminating this wheat crop options. So when you're evaluating the freeze damage, there are a few factors that come into place. First of all is the growth stage of your wheat variety. Um, air temperature, duration of the cold temperatures that you experienced, what your soil temperatures were like, and if you happen to have a uh, snow cover. So generally speaking, um, temperatures below 25 degrees um, are the threshold for damage to occur to a winter wheat crop. Specifically if that, uh, if that wheat crop uh, if that head is above ground and uh, the uh, the life cycle or the growth stage of this wheat crop is a little bit further along. Again, we are seeing some necrosis on uh, the leaves out here, but you would need to scout this uh, field, pull some uh, plants, and then split open the stems and find that head. And if you start to see that that head is rotting, then you'll have a lot better understanding of whether or not um, freeze damage has caused significant uh, damage to that wheat crop and that growing head. Um, unfortunately, freeze damage it ends up being more of an art than a science. There are a lot of variables that go into um, whether or not you're going to have um, a significant amount of damage from, uh, from the weather. So please get out and scout those fields to make that determination. Now if you do determine that you want to, to terminate this crop and come back and plant another crop, there are uh, again a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. So first of all, if you happen to have had a finesse or report extra type um, herbicide that you've applied to your wheat crop, it's going to limit the uh, crops that you can come back and plant after this wheat crop. So for corn, there's 11 months. Um, plant back interval that you would have to wait after applying that finesse type herbicide. For grain sorghum it's going to be anywhere from 14 to 48 months that you would have to wait before uh, growing sorghum depending on your location and your soil type and organic matter. However if you have applied a finesse type product you can come back and plant soybeans as long as they are an STS or sulfonylurea tolerant type soybeans. So be aware of that when making the decision on what you want to do moving forward with your wheat crop if you do have some significant wheat damage. Now once you've determined um, your wheat crop may have enough freeze damage that you want to terminate it, um, there are a few things to keep in mind with that termination um, herbicide program if you decide to go out and spray it. So um, this, this field right here has a very thick stand of wheat so we've got a lot of, um, a lot of cover to, uh, to kill. So uh, a rate of about 48 ounces an acre of glyphosate would be recommended for this type of situation. Um, if you come out and scout this field and you're going to terminate it, um, check and see if you're finding any broadleaf weeds that you want to take care of at the time of the wheat termination. Um, you may want to throw some dicamba or 2,4-D into your tank mix, um, but be aware that you would have about a seven day planting delay um, after, after applying those uh, dicamba or 2,4-D products. Um, for soybeans, if you are going to plant back to soybeans after terminating a wheat crop, you could put a sulfentrazone type herbicide um, in as well, and those would be like the authority type products. Um, so if you have any questions specifically about uh, terminating your wheat crop, what are some herbicide plans that might make sense on your farm, um, you can always reach out to your FBN representative uh, or one of our local FBN hubs. We can also put you in contact with our FBN agronomy team and we're, we're more than happy to help you uh, work your way through these decisions.